as you probably saw from the tram right in, we're at the Magic Kingdom today. And we are here today because the Muppet Show that takes place in Liberty Square, uh, Great Moments in History, is leaving. I don't think Disney has given an exact date, but we do know that it is leaving soon, sometime this fall. So I definitely wanted to see that show one more time because it always cracks me up. It's, it's a really funny, well done show. And I always thought it fit well in the area. We're gonna see that. And there's an ice cream cone that I wanna try at Storybook Treats. It's a cotton candy flavored ice cream cone. So I definitely wanna give that a try because you know how much I love cotton candy. Let's get in, we're gonna ride the ferry boat over to the Magic Kingdom. Every form of transportation at Walt Disney World Resort has a car that goes around, along with it. A really, really nice cast member here at the ferry boat station gave me like 10 cards here and it was all the different boats all around Walt Disney World. And on the back of the card, this is the ferry boat actually, it gives you facts about the transportation that you're riding. Please collect these cards. They are so much fun to collect. And you learn more about the vessels and the modes of transportation here at Walt Disney World. As you can see by this bunting on the train station, the fall decorations are up at the Magic Kingdom. And it's actually a little cooler this morning. So that makes the decorations a little more enjoyable to not be sweating while looking at fall stuff. Something I've never noticed before is this sign right here. I don't know if Disney Parks is live streaming the parade or what, but it's letting you know that you may be on camera if you're standing in these areas and watching the parade. Our old fall friends are back for another season. Now besides these pumpkins, my favorite part of fall time at the Magic Kingdom are all these little jack-o'-lanterns that can be spotted all up and down Main Street. I try to spot different ones every year and I seem to, now I don't know if that's because of a bad memory or they actually do change these, but you can see like the cinema has a uh, film roll on there and they're all kind of themed for where they are appearing. This has to be one of the most depressing jack-o'-lanterns here on Main Street. You just get out of the ice cream parlor. Man, that'd be horrible if you dropped your cone like that. I always stop for that trolley show on Main Street. Their outfits change with the season. The songs vary based on the performance. So if you're walking down Main Street and you see them singing, definitely stop and watch them. Gonna try for Galactic Hero again. I've never gotten Galactic Hero, so need to keep on trying. I've just accepted the fact that I'm just always gonna be a planetary pilot. Well, you know where they don't need Galactic Hero Space Mountain, so let's ride this one. It's been so long since we've ridden Space Mountain that we haven't even seen this new exit way. What is this whole walking thing out of Space Mountain? I don't like it. So we're grabbing some breakfast in the Magic Kingdom right now. We got the Chris breakfast croissant sandwich from the Westward Ho refreshment stand. Looks like it's got eggs, bacon, on a croissant. Hey, go Sam. What great American story are we sharing today? Today we shall salute the Declaration of Independence. Oh, the great story indeed. The people of the colonies, they said let freedom ring. Declared their independence. And they overthrew the king. There were battles, there was violence, there was spies and traitors too. Pretty much think about all that. This is wholesome, true and true. Hey, right, let's bring out some friends to help us say hey, that's your cue. Welcome to the latest. Great moments in history. La 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 la. Great moments in history. And this one is just one. All those in favor of making Sam's story more entertaining say aye. Aye. Only eyes have it. Oh, oh Kermit, what part will Wobby play 
Joining in today's performance are, well, Piggy, this is a story about the founding fathers. And there's no part for you. No part for moi? Uh -uh. Oh, we'll see about that. Thomas. Jefferson. Hi, ho. Jefferson here. John Adams. Hey, that's me. Woohoo! And the highly potable Benjamin Franklin. Ah, Ben Franklin here. <laughs> a petty saint is a petty yard. And if at first you don't succeed, then skydiving is definitely not the sport for you. Does anyone have any arguments in favor of independence? I do. Our continued association with England has grown intolerable. King George has altered our government, enforced cruel repression, and abolished our rights. Wow, nice job, Gonzo. How did you remember all of that? He stapled it to my arm. No, King George! Did someone call one? <laughs> Piggy, what are you doing here? I told you there's no part for you in the show. Of course there is! After all, how better to play royalty than what? All hail King George! Piggy, women aren't kings, they're queens. My, all hail Queen of Georgia! Okay, it's time to vote. JJ, please. Right. All those in favor of declaring our independence from England and Queen Georgette, say aye. Aye. The ayes have it. You see, in the American Revolution, England loses, which means the king, or the queen, loses. Excuse me? It is I, Georgette Washington, and I cannot tell a lie. I look fabulous. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are all together now, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Let freedom reign! Great moments in history, the fourth day of July. Great moments in history, we said King George can lie. in a lot of rides today. Pirates, we just got off Pirates, Space, Buzz Lightyear, and it's time to brunch, the only way to brunch at the Magic Kingdom, and that's to get some ice cream. We're gonna go to Storybook Treats and try that new cotton candy ice cream that they have. I think it's in that frozen aqua lessons, I think they call it, that new color. So let's go check that out. Here we are at Storybook Treats. We are gonna get this Arendelle Aqua Cone. You can see it's got cotton candy soft serve, cotton candy sugar sprinkles, and even some Mickey sugar cubes. So let's get our Magic Kingdom brunch on. Here it is. This is the Arendelle Aqua Cone. I gotta eat it quick, but you can see those cotton candy sprinkles on top with those Mickey sugar cubes. It's already dripping. All right, let's give it a try. I wasn't expecting this to be cotton candy enough for me, but these sprinkles really bring up the cotton candy flavor. These, however, fall off very easily. One fell on the ground, so I quickly ate the other one. It's kind of that Walt Disney World scramble to eat ice cream maneuver that you kind of learn how to do. You can see it's already dripping. But another great ice cream cone from this Storybook Treats booth. I love this place. Here's the new Tomorrowland sign. You know, I had seen pictures of this and I thought I would like it in person, but from this backside angle as you're exiting Tomorrowland, I really don't like it. It looks, I don't know, it looks very plain. I thought the other sign was more fun because even when you're exiting Tomorrowland, you still got some of the fun decorations at the top that it had. Uh, let's take a look at it from the other side. I think it does look better from that angle. And here is the sign from the other angle. Again, it does look better from this angle. And you can kind of see that the letters do have a great coloring to them. We'll see, maybe it will grow on me. It's definitely more sleek and plain than the other Tomorrowland sign was. So that's probably what I'm getting used to. All right, that's it. I have my Sorcerers of the Magic Kingdom cards in hand. So that means we are headed out of the Magic Kingdom for the day. Final thoughts on that Arendelle Aqua Cone. The sprinkles really carried it for me with that cotton candy flavor. I really wish they would mix those all throughout the actual ice cream. 
The ice cream was good, but just not cotton candy enough for me. But I love cotton candy. Other than that, it was a really fun day at Magic Kingdom. We rode a ton of rides. Uh, we got here just after park opening and crowds really didn't pick up until 11 something. So again, like I always say, get here early if you want low crowds and cooler weather. I'm very happy we got to see that Muppet show one last time. I actually laughed like out loud at some of the jokes because I haven't seen it in a while and it really is a clever show. So thank you so much for watching and make sure to follow us for more around Florida.